hello everyone and happy Thursday so yes you are seeing right this is actually a box opening video yes yeah, so uh, just give me a second I'm going to take the baby out of the box and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I think the baby might be upside down. I think this is the head. And I think this is the feet. Yeah. So guys, could you tell what gender this is? <laughs> I'm excited because I hardly ever have a box opening of a little boy. Yes, this is a little boy. And I'm going to open him up. I did have a subscriber that said to me, uh when I was painting because the two babies that I painted was boys and they said they was excited to see some boys come into my nursery but actually <laughs> this really feels like boy number two in my nursery because the other two sculpts that I painted I'm just basically trying to learn so I really don't see them as a part of my nursery like Dyson is or like he is all right well first of all I don't know if you guys can tell <laughs> um, okay just okay first of all let me tell you that um, this baby was painted and rooted by Miss Rachel from Shell's Baby's Nursery. And wow, I'm loving his outfit. Rachel did say she wanted to find him a cute outfit. And yes, Rachel, you did. This outfit is really adorable. It is. Okay, so um, I think you, some of you probably already know which baby this is. But um, anyway, I'll go ahead and take off one of his socks, just one, and see if anyone recognizes his feet. <laughs> oh, his coloring is beautiful. Wow. His coloring is beautiful. And Rachel, I'm seeing his veining. Yeah, I'm seeing veining. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. That's the bottom of his feet. Okay, let me take the other socks off. I love this socks. This is probably... Did this socks come with the outfit? Because it matched so well. This is his other feet. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you know which sculpt this is because he is so flexible. Yes, I'm, I'm sure some of you are aware. I love the socks, I do. I had purchased him some knee-high socks so that he can, uh, yeah, like he could wear certain little outfits with long socks up to his knee. All right, those are his feet. And his hand. <laughs> uh, yes, you guys know what sculpt this is. Look at his hand. Huh? I love the sculpting of his hand. I do. I do. And let me tell you why. I... I, I I really prefer the little finger not to be sticking up. I prefer it to have like a little curve. Yeah, so that's what I like about it. And of course, he has a thumb that he can suck. Okay, his next hand is in a fist. Beautiful. Rachel painted his hand so beautiful, his little nails beautiful all right guys this is it
I don't think he's wearing a pampas on his head. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Yes. Hi. Are you looking at your mommy? There he is, guys. Yes, he is the cuddle body sculpt bubbles by Claire Taylor dolls and he was brought to life by Shell's baby's nursery Miss Rachel Farrell <laughs> oh my goodness he is gorgeous could you guys see let me see if I could zoom him up a little bit so you can see him and see that he has blue gorgeous eyes could you see his eyes oh my oh he feels good oh he is cuddly oh wow oh I love his skin tone Rachel oh I love his skin tone He is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna just brush his hair. Okay, let me zoom him back down. There he is. Yes, guys, so he is Bubbles by Claire Taylor Dolls. And he has a cuddle body. So his head, his hands, and his feet is silicone and his body is all cloth let me show you see so his 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 cloth body comes all the way down just before the ankle and likewise his hands just to the wrist there it is. And guys, I got him a little bracelet. Oh, he has a small little wrist. I got him a little bracelet. There's his bracelet. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is just adorable. Okay, let me go ahead and brush his hair. No, he has that travel here and guys if anyone is interested um claire taylor still have this scalp available and she just recently came out with the sleeping bubbles so i know we have some persons that you know prefer sleeping sculpts like myself i prefer awake I was so happy to know that she when she came out with the sleeping I was so happy that she came out with the awake first because if I had gotten this asleep first and then she came out with the awake I would have been disappointed yeah oh his hair is just beautiful his hair is beautiful Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, and he sucks his finger. He is. Oh guys. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. I love this outfit. Rachel, I do. Now what size is he? I had purchased him a few outfits in three months. I did get him maybe one or two in newborn. Let me just check. What oh, is this newborn? <laughs> this is newborn. And it fits him so well. Well, that's all right. He'll have to wear those three month size that I had gotten for him. So there he is, guys. 
meet your new nephew. Oh, and he has a name. His name is Soren Bubbles. And my daughter named him. Yes, my daughter named him. Yeah. So that's it, everyone. Hey, guys. I had to come back and edit this video. I have to bring Soren back because... <laughs> I just remembered that I didn't get his COA and his COA should be in his pampas yes guys I today is a really busy day let me tell you hubby uh, before I started making this video I had to ask him for 30 minutes and I had to beg him not to interrupt me and now uh, I'm still helping him with his work. So I just realized uh, he's overlooking the work that I did. He have his corrections, of course. I'll have to continue. But I just realized that I didn't look and take his COA out of his diaper. Yeah. So like I had mentioned, he is on a cuddle body. So his COA, yeah, I feel it. It's <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, and this is just a protection so that I don't... It's a protection so that the shipping company doesn't... When they repack the packages, that they don't lose the COA. It has happened to me before. Yeah, so that's his COA. So this is what his body looks like. Seeing that, um, seeing that now I had to take his COA out of his diaper. So you get a chance to see his cloth body. Yeah. So uh, again, he is sculpted, poured, molded into silicone by Claire Taylor dolls. And again, his sculpt name is Bubbles. She have this little embroidered little elephant that says bubbles in the color blue. Really, really cute. I don't know what I can hear hubby calling me already. So guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. <laughs> I have to laugh. Because hubby is something else. Helping him with his work. Oh my goodness. Okay. I wanted to see what size pampas this is actually. It doesn't say. Come here. Turn over for your mummy. Does it say here? No. Turn around at your auntie, see you then. So you guys can see a little bit more of him. There he is. Okay. And um I don't see what size, but it's a small size, so I'm guessing this is probably between newborn or oh, maybe size one. Yeah, his cute self, <laughs> his gorgeous self. Okay. And you know what, guys, I can tell you I was a little bit concerned about, um, I'm just loving the fact that I can see his veining. I love details like that. This is the other foot I'm looking at. Yeah, this feet has veining. Yeah, let me look at his hand. Now, what was I just saying? It slipped my mind already. Oh, I was a bit concerned about this cuddle body. Because honestly, the, the cuddle bodies really was never something that had uh, interest me, honestly. Um, but I fell in love with his face, number one. And then I, I found out that Claire actually sculpted him with hands and feet. So I was like, you know, that's a great idea because when he's dressed and his little hands and feet are out, you know, you it, it, it would look like 
he is a completely uh, full body silicone or even a partial so I was really interested after I noticed that the sculpt came with feet and hands but I was in love with the face number one I'm, I'm gonna tell you his face I fell in love with his face automatically you know I'm the kind of person I, I, I love a beautiful sculpt I do you know for some mummies it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if the sculpt is cute or not because you have a lot of newborn babies that are not born cute because a lot of them their head is disfigured from you know being born uh, you know they have some changes swelling in the head stuff like that so a lot of them are not born cute <laughs> but I personally I, I do like a cute baby I do I do yeah so when I had seen him let me see in his mouth I need to get his let me just get the um I love a detailed mouth I can't help that I want to get the flashlight see into his mouth okay all right so he does have a tongue he have gums and he does not have a uvula no he does not have a uvula okay but as could you guys see his eyes could you see <laughs> beautiful blue eyes okay so the thing about the body that interests me that caught that captured my attention is the fact that it's so flexible and it's very posable and I love to pose my babies and take pictures so I, I felt like it is something that I would enjoy personally myself and my collection because I love posing my babies and taking pictures I do now his little socks let me see yeah these socks these are perfect I don't know if they came with the outfit but they're the perfect color I think they do come with the outfit and I love the fact that they're knee-high like I said I had purchased him some knee-high socks because I do intend to um, I was trying to figure out like more creative ways of dressing you know the, the cuddle body I'm pretty sure there are gonna be times you see a little bit of his cloth but that's okay can't avoid that can't avoid that and where I live it's it's pretty hot so I have to become creative in the way I dress him but I love him guys I love the sculpt I love this cuddle baby I love this cuddle body I should say I do I love this cuddle body and he seems to be more of a newborn size but like I said, I did purchase a few of the three month size. So he will have to wear those. Definitely. I love the idea that both he and Dyson can wear the same size. I love that. I, I do. Uh, but I already got him so much three month size so he'll have to wear both he'll have to wear both oh I'm so cute guys he is just adorable this is an absolutely gorgeous scope it is all right guys so that's all i wanted i wanted to make sure that i had his coa like i said i've had experiences with my shipping company and and in fact i mean i don't want to get into another topic while i'm sharing soaring for the first time but i'm actually missing a whole package from my shipping company i'm just waiting to hear back from them I had purchased uh, some supplies from Bountiful Baby 
and I didn't get a whole order so um, I'm just waiting to hear back from them on that that's the scary thing about you know when your items are not being shipped directly to you that's you know things can go wrong and it has gone wrong for me in the past but I'm just so happy that Soren made it home you see I'm just so happy because you know that one missing package I don't want to say it but that could have been my Soren that could have been mama punky hey mama mama punk book hey yes guys he is gorgeous all right guys so um I just wanted to come on and share my new little guy with you and um, I'm gonna tell you I think there are gonna be more boys coming into my nursery in the future I'm not saying tomorrow but in the future because I, I do also love boys I do even though I, I adore girls what I love about girls is you know you have so many more options with them that's what I love but I still do love my boys all right Okay, everyone. So again, this is Soren Bubbles, and he is the Bubbles uh, Sculpt. He's the Bubbles Cuddle Baby Sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. He was sculpted, poured, molded into silicone by Claire Taylor, and he was painted and brought to life by Miss Rachel Farrell of Shell's Baby's Nursery. Yes, definitely. And I can tell you, Rachel's work is absolutely amazing, beautiful. Her work is gorgeous. And the rooting is amazing, definitely. There he is. All right, everyone. So I just want to give Rachel a special thanks again for bringing this gorgeous baby to life for me and if anyone is interested in Rachel's services you can contact her on Facebook and also she have a website it's called Shell's Babies Nursery and you can look at many babies that Rachel, you can see many babies that Rachel sculpted herself she sculpted poured, molded into silicone, and she also painted and rooted. So she have babies that she herself have created completely. Sculpted her own sculpt, uh, poured into silicone, painted and rooted, yes. All right, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. And you have a super great day. Bye-bye.